Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Kingdoms and Castles on the island of Miscellanea. What a beautiful winter. Look at everything getting covered in snow. Alright, so uh, we have walls all along the edges of the island. With the exception perhaps of a few corners, but I'm hoping that doesn't mess things up too much. The idea behind this is that the uh, Viking ships, when they do inevitably come back, will not be able to land on any of these tiles, which means I will be able to funnel them through right meow. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, I'm not too sure. But either way, this is probably going to be the last video of this series because the entire intention was for it to be pretty short. But this is a pretty fun game, I have really been enjoying it, so for those of you who like this, by all means, pick it up and give it a shot. But before we end this series out, I do want to try out some of the new features that have been added in the Merchants and Ports upcoming expansion beta, blah blah blah, right? So, let's go ahead and take a look at, what is it, town? No, food? There we go. So here's something we could take a look at. The Noria provides water to aqueducts and reservoirs. What do reservoirs do? They have to be connected to aqueducts or noria, but they store water and provide irrigation, I believe, in an 8 radius, or something like that, plus one food per farm in an 8 block radius. I'm guessing I could probably place one, like, right here or something like that, and it would probably work for all of my farms. And if that's the case, then that's definitely better than having the farm itself, because right now this farm is producing 12 food, but if I were to produce food, to one food to each of these farms... I mean, that's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 34 farms-ish? Eh, minus 1. 33 farms. 33 food from one tile? It actually does take up only one tile, right? Reservoir? Yeah, that's not half bad. It it might be totally worth doing this. We, we may want to give it a shot. Now, let's take a look at the Noria, though. I assume if we were to place this, the Vikings can't land here. Uh, hmm. Needs to be in the water. Uh, how does this work exactly? Okay. Uh, we may we may not be able to build it in this location. I'm not too sure yet. We can feed it around. Here's the cool thing about aqueducts. Uh, aqueducts do actually let you go over roads. So maybe we can place the Noria over here. That might work. Let's go ahead and destroy some of this wall. And just see what's involved. Um, water beetle needs to be built in fresh water. Fresh water? Oh! Oh, well, never mind. This is salt water. That doesn't work at all. Aw, oh, man. Am I not going to be allowed to build a Noria and test this thing out? Let's see. Fresh water. Is there any fresh... There's fresh water here. Okay. Salt. Salt. Is there an easier way to tell what's fresh? Because this is fresh. Mmm, so fresh. Baja fresh. That's all fresh. Wait a minute. Oh, everything inside of this little... I guess, kind of natural bay is fresh water. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, hang on then. Maybe I can build the... Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so maybe I can build the Noria over here then. Although I kind of wanted to build my port over here instead. Let's just get salts again. Okay, so it's a darker blue color. Hmm. Maybe I can build a Noria like right here and then just funnel it through using aqueducts. Aqueducts go over roads, I think, which means this should be pretty easy to do. Let's try giving it a shot. We're going to demolish. Demolish. Go to food. Noria. Needs to be on the shore. Well, yes. Can I rotate? Aha! Okay, we've got it. So I'll place you here then. And let's just sort of see what happens. While we're waiting for that to get built, we do have the ability to get rid of some of these stupid rocks. So let's see what's involved in that real quick. Uh, industry? Rock removal. Let's go ahead and try placing that there, use up some of our tools, and see if we can access the nearby iron mine. Okay, it works. You just have to click on the thing and then say, yes, I want to confirm the removal. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and get ourselves an iron mine in town. That should be a heck of a lot safer. Now, I am a little bit curious how much better stone roads really are. Do you want to try building just a few of these and sort of see what happens? I'm a little low on stone at the moment, but... Let's just... Whoa. Let's just go ahead and try building a couple here and just sort of see what happens. I want to watch these guys move and see if I notice a, an obvious difference. Of course, I'm a little low on the stone at the moment. The aqueduct, it turns out, takes up a lot. Or is it an aqueduct? I've heard it go both ways. 
I think in Yali will tell me it's an aqueduct, not an aqueduct, which is probably correct. I don't know why I'm even saying it that way. That's fine, though. All right, let's sort of see. Uh, he's definitely move faster on the road. He runs pretty quick. It is a slight difference, but I'm going to guess it's only a few percentage points. Considering how hard it is to get stone sometimes, I'm not absolutely convinced that stone roads are worth it. Maybe through a main highway through town, but it's going to be pretty imperceptible. Well, I guess I don't get to test this aqueduct out now. The Vikings are invading! Now's the perfect chance to find out if we're actually going to die. Well, I see a couple of ogres. So, no matter what I do at this point, I think that we need more Ballista Towers. Can I build some of those quickly? <sighs> I'm not convinced one way or the other. I guess we could give it a shot, but ugh, it's going to be a little tough. Let's see. Ballista Tower takes only five wood. Let's upgrade the stone a little bit more. Castles here. i got plenty of people idle, so builders is not the issue. And then if I can build... Another ballista. Ballista. We're going to test it out. I know I'm committing all the way to this thing, but let's just sort of see if it works. I also don't have a lot of time to build it, so if they land in my town, I might be dead. But we're going to give it a shot anyway. Let's see what happens, these guys. You going to land up here again? That's what you did last time. I'd like to think that you might. Wait, where'd you guys go? There you are. Oh, there's quite a few of you this time. Oh, look, the ogre's like... Wait. He's just a rag doll inside the ship. I thought he was laying down on the ship and holding his hand on the water like he likes to feel the waves or something. And there's a dragon! Why not? But no, they're just sitting here like freaking rag dolls. What's going on with the dragon? Oh, hi, dragon. You gonna, you gonna come over here and get shot down by my ballistas? I hope so. Just don't set massive fires, please, and I think we'll be okay. Speaking of fires, there was apparently another one over here. This is the downside of walling this stuff off. They don't get to the shore as quickly. I built a well over here, but apparently it's not close enough. Goody, we're going to lose even more stuff. That's what I like to see. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just kill the dragon. Um, Bliss is doing a good job. It's nice. Keep shooting the poor thing. Uh, maybe we'll get a morale boost for killing it. I don't know. And then I can raise taxes for a little while. That'd be excellent. Here comes all the stone. The good news is I think the Vikings are a little slow to get over here, so maybe we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and build another charcoal maker, because I know I was running low. Alright, ballistas. Come on. Why did I pay for you? Shoot the dragon! Murder! Pew? Uh, I think it might have taken a shot, but it wasn't much. Well, worse come to worse, if we chase away the dragon before it can burn a single structure, that's not the worst thing in the world. I I'll be alright with that. The Vikings are the real test. Speaking of which, where are they? There you are. Are you landing over here? Surely not. Nope, nope, they're gonna go to the same spot, I think. I hope. Alright, the dragon left. Um, we chased away a dragon, so that should make people pretty happy. Can we chase away some ogres and vikings? How much money am I losing right now, by the way? I'm gonna go with a lot. No, we're making 22 a year. What do you know? Oh boy, alright. So I think this is the best that we're gonna be able to do for a little while. Still need a lot more lumber, but we'll get it in time. Um, yeah, there's there's not a dang other thing that we can do. Okay, here come the ogres, here come the vikings. Yes, they are landing over here. Perfect. We have created a successful bottleneck. Uh, and you know what? Since we're waiting around and don't have a lot else to do, let's go ahead and build that reservoir. Right here. I think that will work. We'll test that out in a bit. Give the people something to do so that they're distracted and don't realize that impending death approaches. Why do these ogres feel the need to trash all my trees? It's super duper rude. All right, guys, there's an ogre. Shoot him! Shoot the ogre! Ballista, shoot him! They can swim? Since when can the ogre swim? Oh no! Well, I killed one at least. They're all swimming! No! Where's the weakness? Where's the weak point in this thing? Oh no! I didn't know they could do this! Where are they gonna be able to get into my town though? Can they go through these rocks? Please tell me they can't. That's what I was the most worried about. Well, they're going to try to burn down my uh, my walls, apparently, and they're probably going to succeed. No, so far, so far we're driving them away. Uh, this forester did get burned by the Vikings. It's sort of okay, though. 
Looks like we did kill all of the, um, whoa, where'd those arrows go? We did kill all the ogres, though. So that's success. They are burning down my walls, but they haven't been able to break through yet. Okay, there goes the big one. So, so far, we're not really losing anything, then. We're just losing a few walls, and it's only wood. It's not like I don't have plenty of that. I'm actually mostly just annoyed that they keep wandering around the outside, just burning all my walls. This is super-duper inconvenient. But whatever. It's a small price to pay. We killed the ogres, guys! Ha-ha! So really what this is telling me is I just need to line the uh, wooden walls with a few more towers just to kill people as they wander around in the shallow water. But that seems to be it. We drove away the Vikings. Only a couple of ships are escaping. They have catapults? Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay. Well, I'll call that a uh, mixed success. Not bad. Oh, you are kidding me. Look at this. Look at this tease. The water stopped right before the reservoir. <sighs> uh, okay. Demolish. It was a good. It was a good attempt. Um, that's fine though. You know what? The res. <sighs> Darn it! The road. The, ro the, the reservoir didn't have to be exactly there anyway. So let's try demolishing this farm and place the reservoir here instead. I can kind of see a radius around this thing. Yeah, okay, if we place it here, it's still going to have access to all of my farms about perfectly. So let's see if that works, or if I need to back off even one more tile. Hopefully not. We'll place that. Place you. Okay. And in theory, this works. Oh no, three people were kidnapped by a Viking party. 35 trauma from recent Viking attack. Guys, in a town of 393, losing only three people to the Vikings. That's a miracle! You should be ecstatic! Oh, nope, never mind, there goes another one. Alright, well, four is obviously too many, I apologize. Your trauma is well substantiated. Okay, there we go, the reservoir is indeed working. So, if I click on the farm... Aha, receiving irrigation, plus one. With the windmills, the high... So this, this farm that would have produced six is now producing 14 with this particular setup. That's, that's not bad at all, actually. And this thing does reach everything, right? Sure looks like it does. So yeah, this one tile is now worth an extra 33 food. I don't think irrigation stacks the same way windmills do, though. That would be way overpowered. But it'd be kind of cool if it did. Throw a festival in honor of those who were kidnapped by the Vikings and probably sold into a life of Northman slavery. And also to offset the fact that I just raised taxes, so hopefully none of you guys notice. So this is all looking pretty good so far. We're entering year 70. Uh, I could continue clearing out these trees and making room for more real estate, and I probably will, but otherwise we're looking pretty good here. So I think it's time to start expanding into ports if I can. Um, now where is that stuff? Maritime? There it is. Docks. Stores goods for pickup and drop off by the transport ships allows foreign merchant ships to dock. Sounds pretty good, and then you can build an outpost which builds on unclaimed land to start a new settlement, so it's kind of like a mini-keep. And then there's the transport ships themselves, which require a dock, and then some money, and then some wood. Okay, so how big exactly is the dock? It is... looks like a two by two. Maybe I can demolish these? I assume that this does not open me up to Viking attacks. That would be rather tragic. Let's just sort of see, though. Okay, yeah, I can place it right here. Uh, I could also make it stick out a bit, too. Oh, that's interesting. I can build it anywhere out here? Huh. Um, how exactly do I want to build this, then? Like this, maybe? This seems okay. All right, let's try building a dock like that and see what happens. Yeesh, these storms, though. What a hellish island to live on. All right, we have our port. So what do I need now? A transport ship, I would guess. Which I can place probably here. Do I get to control its route later or something? I'm not sure. You know, for a second these clouds scared me and I thought something horrible was rising out of the sea. Nah, they're fine. Yeah, we'll try to land on this island, I think, and establish a new outpost. Um, what would be good, though? There's so many trees to chop down. Probably set up an outpost right over here. 
I want to take advantage of the fertile land. I'm just a little bit worried that the Vikings are going to come by. Like, what are you supposed to do on an island's map type? Does it make it very difficult to defend? Possibly. All right, so we have a transport ship. Travels to docks in its destinations list and loads and unloads goods. Sailing, repeat orders when done. Add destination. That all sounds well and good. Am I able to build an outpost from here? Wrong island. Well, the whole point is I want to claim something else. Can I add? Nope. Hang on. Add destination. Um. No, I don't want to. I don't want to pick up. No, that's not what I'm looking for. How do you get an outpost going? Build on unclaimed land. Yeah. You're not telling me that I need to, like, build bridges to get across here first, are you? Because I don't think that's possible. Wait, what are you saying I don't have any wood? I got plenty of wood here. What are you talking about? Town bridge. Can only go in water. Wait, if I have to build... If I have to build bridges anyway, then what's the point? Why build the ships? I may not be understanding how this works. You know what? I have an idea. Maybe I know what's going on. I think... Okay, so here's something they added into the game, alright? As I move off of my main island, you may notice down here, I think... If I zoom in... No? It used to be that this thing kind of went away. Well, you can see my resources go away as I stray away from my main island. I suspect that the game is trying to break up different settlements and outposts. Like, this entire area has shallow water connected to my base, so this all could be considered one island. If I go over here, though, does it go away? Well, maybe not. Well, my question is, if I go all the way over to this island where it seems like my resources disappear and stuff... Maybe. Does this, does this change anything? Aha! Now I can build an outpost. Okay, so you have to do it from the island menu, the island build menu, where everything is zero, not from the main island. That's a little bit unwieldy. Um, not really a big fan of that arrangement, but okay, either way, let's go ahead and place uh, outpost right here, I guess. And do we have to send people over there? No, it just creates new people straight up. Oh, wait, that seems like something I could kind of manipulate. Can I just build on every single island? Kind of wonder, actually. Hang on. What if I uh, went over here now? Could I build um, another one over here? Start up another Little island colony? No. Apparently not. I need to have resources. Well, how the heck do I get resources over here? And how did I already have resources over here? Alright, so this is a little bit ambiguous to me, and I'd like to see the developers uh, make this a bit more obvious, but oh well. So we've got our outpost going up. That's good. It's like a mini keep. Uh, and we need to get some resources going for this thing, just like everything else. So we'll have them chop down some resources. And yeah, we have our own, like, separate island population menu over here, too. This is gonna get real confusing real quick. I don't- I don't necessarily approve of that. Whoa! These storms, though. Alright, so we have this, and we get a small batch of resources to start. Uh, let's go ahead and start getting some food. Wait, we don't have any roads yet, of course. Um... Build one here, I guess, to sort of start. I'm gonna get some hovels, chop down the trees. It's kind of like starting from scratch, but also maintaining our main empire. I mean, I guess I'm kind of glad that the game incentivizes you to start paying attention to different areas of the map. Right? It's, it, it does add a bit more endgame content, I suppose, trying to manage the main kingdom with several different outposts. It's just a little unwieldy. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being unfair, but that's just kind of how it feels to me. Either way, let's get these guys situated. I guess they're gonna have their own happiness value? Eh, at least until their homelessness is fixed, but yeah. Wow, okay. So I guess the next real test is can I build myself another dock? Sure looks like the answer is yes. I probably want to build it somewhere over here so it's not taking up my fertile land. Something like this might actually work just fine. Um, yeah, let's place a dock, kind of like so. Interestingly enough, the docks don't need to have a road. Which is a little interesting, but okay. We'll build it out anyway, just for consistency's sake. 
And then we'll see if we can figure out how to do trade and transporting goods around. Because this island is going to have a little bit of trouble getting to all the stone. There are a lot of rocks in the way. And a lot of trees to chop down with very low population. I don't suppose I could actually, like, transfer population. Is that an option? Add destination. Aha! So island 0 and island 1. Well, that's a fun way to name things. Okay, can we transport people? No, only resources. Okay. Um, what if I wanted to transfer over some some lumber to start, I guess? We will start on Island Zero, picking up, let's say, 50 lumber. Okay, and then... Wait, how does this work? This is destination. I don't want to pick up, I want to drop off. I can drop off 50 lumber. Does it automatically pick it up here? Well, hang on. It's moving. Did it get some lumber, though? Hang on. Let's go over here. Do I get up to 90 lumber once it lands in my dock? Or port? Or whatever? I am very curious to see. Yes? No? Maybe? Doesn't appear to have actually done anything, but that could also be because the port's not done. Also, this thing appears to be getting stuck. Also, dragons! Well, good thing is it's coming from the south right into my main line of towers, so... Uh, probably it's gonna be fine. Squisha, squisha. Many ballistas to shoot you down! Don't you dare burn down my towers. Hey, it's dead already! That was e easy. What just happened here? What the crud is this? What is this? I can do Twitch? What button did I press? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, does not appear to have done anything. It also sort of appears that this ship is glitching out. Pretty, pretty badly. Um. Okay. What? Okay, I think it's in position now. It's just trying to go through the land. The, the ship is definitely bugged. Is there a particular side that it's supposed to go to? Because it doesn't restrict you. Maybe this is supposed to be the side. That would make sense, right? That this is kind of the pier... Okay, hang on. Maybe I messed this up. Wait, that's a bug in the patch if that's the case. Is it seriously trying... <laughs> it, it might try be trying to get to, like, a, a land-based uh, center of the, the dock. Okay, hang on. Let's demolish. The ship's going to be very confused, but that's okay. I'm going to chop this down to make sure I have a little bit more space to work with. Ooh, a merchant arrived! Nice ship, buddy! So what does this do? I don't know. Let's click on him. So we can buy and sell things. Uh, the price, I guess, is gold. So we could buy or sell resources, and obviously you get far less than you would pay. So I guess it's one option to sort of offload excess. So this time he doesn't have stone. He does have tools and armaments and stuff, though. Uh, do I have anything in particular excess that I want to get rid of? Not really. I mean, I guess we could sell off a bit of lumber. 33. Sure, let's see what happens. Complete the sale, get 66 gold. Totally did. And he doesn't want any more of the other stuff. Interesting. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and sell off some of my extra iron, too. Sure, why not? There you go. Are you happy? Thank you, merchants. I'm not sure this actually adds a whole lot more to the game than was already there, but um, I guess it's a thing. I suppose one of the cool things about these settlements is what you can really do then, at some point in the game, is focus on making your uh, main city into like a big thriving metropolis with lots and lots of housing, and instead have a bunch of little satellite settlements that their basic purpose is just to get things like stone, wood, and iron, and so on, and ship them back in. So you can, don't have to spend a lot of your uh, resources or a lot of your space inside of the walls gathering up resources. Instead, it can focus just on having people, and the satellite states help bring the resources in. I suppose that is one way you could do it, and that is kind of nice because it kind of insulates the, your main population... Uh, from the Vikings, because you can have a much lower population just dedicated to gathering over resources over here. Maybe. I I'm not too sure exactly how this changes the meta of the game so far, but I it's interesting to try and think it through. So let's see if we can get this transport ship to work this time. We are going to go to Island Zero. We are going to pick up 
let's just say 20 lumber. 20 lumber and go. All right, so it's gonna go over here. I wanna see if it docks up and picks up some lumber and I wanna see if there's any way for me to tell. It looks like we're storing a ton of resources over here. This is almost like acting like a stockpile. I don't know if I want it to do that. There we go, it picked up some lumber. Okay. Is there a way to see exactly what's inside the ship already? And now it's acting weird again. Okay, before it gets stuck, now let's add another destination. This time, we're going to go to Island 1, and we're going to drop off 20 wood. I guess you could have them like, do trades and stuff automatically. Pick up some... Uh, pick up some lumber and drop off some food and then go pick up some food and drop off some lumber. I guess you could do that. But okay. So let's try doing this now. Okay. So it's going over here and I guess it's going to offload and I could tell it to repeat. Is it on or is it not? I guess we'll find out. I think this is working now. Okay. Yeah. I guess I, guess I can kind of see the value of this. So it's successfully dropping off some wood. You just have to have some dock workers doing their thing. Um, the real question then is, will it go and pick up some more once it's done? It doesn't appear to have actually finished dropping this off, which concerns me. I assume we have people working here. Yes. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh. Resources currently stocked. 49... So... Okay, yes, I'm guessing it's at capacity and that's why it can't finish. So let's change that and see if now it's okay with dropping off more wood. No, it's just trying to pick some up from my, my outpost. Okay, maybe I don't entirely know how this works. It's waiting on something. Yeah, this is a little bit wonky. I kind of see what the developers are trying to go for here, but it's not as intuitive as I think it needs to be. I'm not really able to drop off any more materials, and I don't really understand why. It's sitting here, the capacity exists, the workers are hanging out, but for some reason, it just won't do it. Really interesting, but okay. The other thing I suppose I could start doing now is building the piers. I mean, that used to be an old trick in uh, Kingdoms. If you want to get some more land, just start using piers, and you can start building on the sea. Like having extra tiles. It's actually a pretty good way to do your walls, by the way. If you got the materials, it takes a lot of stone, wood, and gold and stuff, but if you got it sitting around, then yeah, why not? Why take up your very fertile land along the shore when you could just build piers instead? By the way, I'm full on money. I clearly need to reduce my taxes. You know, I gotta give our architect a raise. Designing a tower perfectly so that the wheel can just flow right through it. That is a challenge right there. I'm impressed. But anyway, yeah, so we're opening up the island a little bit, using the piers to our advantage. Dragon has been sighted, but at this point, I'd say that's pretty old news. As long as it doesn't go kill my new outpost, I think we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi. Oh. You're, uh, you're not heading to my main tower line, are you? You're heading my settlements? Please don't. That is, exact, that is exactly what I did not want you to do. Well, this is going to be fun now, ain't it? Thanks, dragon. Thanks for picking on the weak ones. Kill it. Kill it in retribution. Yay! Oh, well. <laughs> there goes my forester. <laughs> oh, well. Whatever works, works, I suppose. All right. Um, Let's just place you over here or something. We can finally remove these stupid rocks and build a second quarry on my main island. Oh, finally, we're maxing out our uh, stone production over here. Wonderful. Well, I think this is as good a place to stop as any. You can see here that I will just continue building out the walls, getting more defenses going. Start building out some of the satellite states, make this into a thriving metropolis, and just sort of see how things work from there. But we've been able to fend off the enemy. As long as I just keep expanding, getting more defenses as I go, I think we'd be in good shape. As far as all of the changes and the upcoming merchants and ports, I think there's a little bit of tweaking that needs to be done. Uh, mostly UI changes, just so it's a bit more obvious what you're supposed to be doing with the ships, with the outposts. I get what they're trying to do. It's just a little unwieldy, and it took me a little while to figure it out, but 
It looks pretty promising, some good features. I hope they continue to update the game in the future. In the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed, because I know that I did. This was a fun little series. It's a nice, relaxing game. It's challenging, but not too challenging. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment with your support, subscribe if you are new, and hit the bell if you are not. My name is Provis, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>